Hello dear students, welcome. This is Dr. Hadi here and you are watching Medical Globe. Today's topic is from biochemistry that is structure of protein or organization of protein. A summary will be presented in today's lecture only. Because this topic is a little bit lengthy, it requires two lectures. So we will split that topic into segments. Part 1 primary structure, part 2 secondary structure, part 3 tertiary structure. So the depth of each part will be discussed in a, a separated video but today a summary overall summary will be given to you because still some students they don't want to go into the depth and they want to study at a cursory level so summary will help you more than the depth and once you got the summary then if you go into the depth you will get the topic so let's start that short summary of protein structure uh, just like if you um, get something in a very simple form and then you made some modification in that and it will become a little bit advanced a little bit modern and it's it's stage two then you can bring more changes in the, that thing and you can make it more advanced and so on advanced 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 step by step protein has also some kind of some sort of organization in which you will see simple protein simple uh, shape and then you will move to the next step where the protein will be slightly more advanced and then more advanced and then more advanced it become more and more complicated simple and less complicated more complicated more complicated that steps of protein is called as structure of protein so the first one is the primary structure in primary structure we are concerned with polypeptide only and the sequence and the number of amino acids let's suppose here we have a protein and in that protein we have uh, some amino acids link with one another in 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 this way so this is a kind of uh, pol a polypeptide amino acid amino acid each circle represent an amino acid there is no need to write the structure of amino acid and we have already discussed that topic structure of amino acid for simplicity each circle represent amino acid so when many amino acids are joined together it will give us a polypeptide now that the number of amino acid one two three four five six seven number of amino acid sequence after a there is b amino acid then c then d then e then f then g this is called the sequence so number and sequence are types of amino acids in a polypeptide makes us primary structure so we can write that primary structure in the form of a just a single line is a just a single line that single line represents the primary structure okay now shifting to the secondary structure before we come to the secondary structure in primary structure you can see that there is only a covalent bond between one amino acid and another amino acid that is a covalent bond a peptide bond and sometimes you can see a disulfide bond yes so the bonds in primary structure are the covalent bond means peptide bond and there is disulfide bond so in terms of bond you can see disul disulfide bond only so this is simple structure when you go forward the bonds will increase i will tell you how when you come to the secondary structure in secondary structure that poly polypeptide that protein become a little bit advanced how the same protein if it makes some turns like some if it if it twist and make some bends like this the same line look at that, the same polypeptide if it makes a bend like 
like this okay like this as a kind of bend a twist or you can write it like this or you can write like this whatever the case is this is a polypeptide chain and, and it is bent or twisted when a polypeptide chain make its shape like this then that it will be called a secondary structure second it is a little bit more modern and advanced than the primary structure why one the same there will be amino acid just like in primary structure of course none of the polypeptide will be without amino acid that that, that is for clear that is for sure okay so i can write dots so you will understand because this is just a summary each dot represents amino acid if i write a cir circle it will make the diagram a little bit okay now many amino acids are linked so still is a polypeptide but the polypeptide has uh, changed its shape like this it, there is a bend there is some sort of uh, twist you can see then this type of polypeptide will cut a secondary structure and what will be the bonds here in in this case the bonds will be covalent and disulfide okay covalent and disulfide this is fine this is okay the most important bond that is present in the secondary and not in the primary because of which the secondary structure is called as more advanced that is the hydrogen bond hydrogen bond i'm going to write it hydrogen bond so there is hydrogen bond this is because of the hydrogen bond that the polypeptide has acquired a shape like this if if you remove hydrogen bond then this coiled structure will become straightened like this if i uh, have this uh, let's suppose this is this is a, a polypeptide okay uh, if i if i if i make it straight like this this is just a polypeptide and of course it will be primary structure now, now if 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 i make it like this if i make it like this and oh my god okay if i make it like this uh, oh my god come on come on come on nah, this one no if it is like this you can call it a secondary structure because of it is bent fine now coming to the third uh, structure of protein it will be more we will expect that it will be more advanced than the previous two structures in tertiary structure you can see there is a folding there is twist and fold there is a twist and fold twist and fold twist as it in secondary plus fold upon itself it become a little bit more complex how huh. you can see that this is a secondary structure the red color this is a secondary structure fine everyone can understand this is secondary structure and if you see the secondary structure has in fold like this now look at that when a secondary structure or when, or when a polypeptide twist and fold upon itself so that the, the structure become a little bit more complex then this site of structure is called as tertiary structure and in order to stabilize this structure we need some more bonds to stabilize it so that these bonds are these bonds are okay fine you can see a hydrogen bond will be there peptide bond okay fine it is already present in the primary structure as well disulfide fine it's okay 
but the, the, the new bonds that were not mentioned in, in the primary or secondary structure, these are, these are the new bonds. These are electrostatic, electrostatic interactions, means a sort of ionic bonds, electrostatic interaction. And when there well when the wells forces and hydrophobic bonds. So these are three new bonds that are present in tertiary structure and because of these three bonds the tertiary structure is a little bit more advanced and complex. Electrostatic bond is found in between the C O O H and N H three plus. If there is N H three and it, it 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 got some positive charge, and C O H got some negative charge, then because of the positive and negative charge, another one not 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 the peptide bond, not the peptide bond. Another bond will be formed that is called electrostatic because of negative and positive charge. That, that 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 not that will not be a covalent bond, just like peptide bond, but it will, it will develop just because of the positive and negative species. Van der Waal forces, it will develop as a <coughs> dipole, dipole, <coughs> dipole, dipole. When two molecules come closer together because of its closeness. There, there was no charge and because of their interaction some sort of charge produced one become positive and the become negative as a result of this a bond will be formed called as van der Waal forces these may be permanent or temporary because of interaction okay we call it dipole and the one is hydrophobic bond a hydrophobic bond is usually formed between the side chain of the amino acid you know in in the side chain of amino acid there are methyl groups CH3 or CH2. So when the bond is formed between the side chain of the amino acid, it is, it is not considered it, it is not considered a bond. But still, because water repel the the side chain of amino acids, as a result, the amino acid side, ch side chain will come closer together because of the surrounding water. Water will repel them, but because of the repulsion the side chain will come closer and their interaction is called as hydrophobic interaction. So these are the new bonds that are present in tertiary structure. And the, one of the very good examples of the tertiary structure is um, the protein which is present in muscle that uh, stores oxygen that is myoglobin. And the fourth one is a quaternary structure. Quaternary structure is, is a little bit more uh, complex than the tertiary structure. In quaternary structure, when you see there are combination of more than one tertiary structure, means let's suppose this is one tertiary structure, okay, a polypeptide bent and fold upon itself. This is one tertiary structure. And when there is another tertiary structure, two or three or four, then Let's suppose there are four tertiary structures. When, when these four tertiary structures are linked together, they, 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 they come together, then this whole assembly will be called as quaternary structure. And this, 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 this type of protein is considered as more advanced and it is present in, in, in some enzyme like lactate dehydrogenase. Lactate D hydrogenase lactate dehydrogenase is an enzyme and if you see it contains different parts okay D different parts you can call it domain this is a protein so it is called a a domain it is called a domain and this is another domain fine so this is more advanced and some at some time you might have heard that is an enzyme it consists of two 
polypeptide two parts or three parts or four different and each part perform different specific function and that in this way we've got finally the protein structure in summary i hope you got to understand i enjoyed the video thanks for watching keep remembers in your prayers thank you bye bye